If you were to watch only one video of mine, per se November INI CT from this entire channel, it would be this. So I would request, please just watch it to the very end. Do not skip it. If you want, you can increase the speed to a certain level as per your comfort. But please hear me out from the entire thing. I know the notes are visible on the right side, but they are just for reference. Please let me just speak it out and let me help you. Okay. I am Parth Rati. I've secured an all-in the rank of 289 and 341. And in this video, we'll try and make the best unbeatable strategy for you, irrespective of whatever timeline that you are in, six months, four months, five months, whatever it is. You will be able to make the best timetable for you after the end of this video. Let's just get into this. So let us start with the number of days that we have in hand. Today is 10th of June. So from now, there are approximately 150 days for the exam. If you are watching this video a little late, it's okay. Do not regret any further. Just start acting from today as per the timeline that you have now. Okay. Let us divide it 150 days into 70 for the first read, 45 for the first revision, 25 for the second revision and last 10 days for the ultimate last revision. Okay. Let's just talk about the 70 days that we have in hand from now. This is your personal core time. Okay. This is the time that you have to master on your weakness and you have to bring your level to next. Okay. Last 90 days, more or less, if guided properly, everybody is going to follow the same path, heavily dependent on previous year questions, heavily dependent on uh, previous year topics. Right now, if you're weak at certain areas, you can correct them. If you have felt short during MBBS or during previous time of your preparation, you can work on them right now. Okay, INICT is heavily previous year question and previous year topic based. Please keep them as your base. Please keep them as their only working guide. Not me, not any coaching, not anyone else be your guide. Only a previous year question will be your ideal guide. Okay, if and please remember previous year questions are to be learned and not to be tested. Previous year questions along with the solutions are the element of your notes. They are not to be tested. If you want to test your knowledge per se particular subject, give a subject wise test, give a TND or give a grand test. Okay. That is used for assessing your preparation, not a previous year question. Now, what are the goals to be achieved by end of this period? Okay. We have to have a final set of nodes out after this, there is no FOMO and no switching. Okay. You have to create that notes, keeping the previous year topic as the checklist which I'll put in the description if you haven't checked them yet. Okay. So final year notes. So final notes with previous year topic as the checklist. One round of custom modules of all the PYQs which are there for the exam. I will suggest do both NEET and INICT, but if you have less time, it's okay. You can do just INICT as well. And you have to test that notes either with one of the three things that I mentioned before, and you have to come back to the notes and add or delete whatever that you think are access or little less. Okay. You have to make a tested, well tested previous year's questions included final notes that you're going to ratify in the next three months. Okay. That you should be clear. Now you can start with the topics and subjects which are heavily topic and heavily dependent and slowly, slowly go to the less dependent because trust me, you will always fall short of time. There are going to be few subjects which are going to be left. Okay. No matter even if you start today. So yeah, hona hi hai. ठीक है ये मान के चलो कुछ ना कुछ छुटना ही है सब कवर नहीं होना है मेरे भी किसी भी ए आर वन के भी नहीं होंगे आई एम प्रिटी श्योर ऑन दैट ओके सो राइट नाउ जस्ट फोकस ऑन प्रीवियस एड टॉपिक एंड वीक एरिया कीप देम एज द प्रायोरिटी एंड स्लोली स्लोली गो डाउन इन टू द लीज प्रायोरिटी एरिया ओके नाउ स्टार्ट इवेल्युएटिंग योर प्रिपरेशन वेयर डू यू स्टैंड आई वुड सजेस्ट गिव अ ग्रांड टेस्ट टू असेस योर सेल्फ वेर एग्जैक्टली यू स्टैंड एंड वॉट आर योर वीक एरिया वेर यू नीड टू बिल्ड एज कम्पेयर टू द स्टैंडर्ड टॉपर्स performance okay so if you're weak in concepts go to the selective main notes or videos try to work on them and crisp and make them into a concise crisp notes okay that you can revise in the revisible in the revision period right now you can do that last three months it's very difficult to do that okay now if you have if you have any factual error then please uh, keep all those facts at one place, revise them on daily basis of half an hour and one hour. And in the last period, just revise, give a rapid revision to it. Okay. If you don't have a crisp revisable notes, it's okay. You can make your notes right now. And if you're not comfortable with it, you can take a standard revision note. And most of the revision notes from all the resources are 80 to 85 percent the same. So do not run into the FOMO. Just pick one and get started. Okay. Uh, if you feel sometimes what happens is uh, you have learned a particular topic, you have went through it. And while 
solving the questions of it you tend to make some mistakes okay if you so these we try, tend to call them silly mistakes because i have read them but yet i was not able to implement them i was not able to convert them i was not able to bank them so please you need more practice on such areas because only that way you will come to know what are the twists and turns that are coming around that topic around that questions and how to attack them okay if you have poor attention span i have repeatedly said try studying in the cohort of 2 3 hours and slowly slowly build up to 4 hours in the last 2 weeks of your preparation okay right now please finalize your resource no switching after that repeatedly said and from the start itself keep a winners mindset okay even i started uh, in from august last year and i had may and march exams in my neat and iicit i had literally 6 months from the day one i started that i have to be in the top 500 irrespective whatever it is kaise hona hai kya hona hai kaise ho payega guide milega nahi milega barabar resources hai ya nahi fomo hai sab kuch jo bhi hai sab bhad mein gaya yaar right now i just need to be set that mujhe yahan pahunchna to hai hi ab kaise pahunchna hai ab wo figure out karna hai bas theek hai end goal you have to set baaki kya karna hai fir dekha jayega wo raste mein hum कुछ भी करके जुगाड़ करके कुछ भी करके विल फाइंड आर वे टू रीच टू द एंड ओके एंड हैव रियली गुड पीयर्स अराउंड हैव रियली गुड मेंटर्स अराउंड हु कैन ऑलवेज प्रमोट दिस काइंड ऑफ कल्चर दिस काइंड ऑफ माइंडसेट एंड पुश यू एंड मेक यू मोर इनफॉर्म मेक यू मोर वैल्यूड एंड यू आर ग्रोइंग एवरी डे यू आर मास्टरिंग एवरी डे दैट यू आर डूइंग स्ट्रेटेजिकली यू आर मेंटेनिंग एवरी डे योर ऑप्टिम एंड यू आर नॉट फेलिंग इवन वन सिंगल डे ओके नाउ इज दी हाई टाइम लास्ट फ्यू मंथ आर देर यू हैव टू गिव ऑल इन टू बी इन द टॉप फाइव हंड्रेड थाउजेंड इन आई एन आई सी टी आई एन आई सी टी वी ऑल नो इज इन हाई स्टेक्स एग्जाम इफ यू आर नॉट इन टॉप थाउजेंड देर इज नो पॉइंट ऑफ गिविंग एग्जाम ओके वी हैव टू गेन द मोमेंट फ्रॉम आई एन आई सी टी एंड विच विल हेल्प टू परफॉर्म really good in neat as well because then we have to do just two more revisions specifically the neat and will excel in neat because we have done a concepts well from inict and now we are doing the volatile and neat specific topics and most likely will clear the neat also with great ranks okay you have to repeat the same process for all the 19 subjects start with the subjects which are heavily dependent heavily asked to the least important okay now how to divide these 70 days as per the subjects that we have in hand So for short subjects, you can give three days each. Okay, in these three days, you have to get your final notes ready as per the definition that we said before. Okay, short subjects here includes FMT, ENT, Ophthal, Skin, Ortho, Anesthesia, Psychiatry, Radio, and Pediatrics. Okay, yeah, including Pediatrics. Yes. Now we come to the long subjects. Okay, subjects like Biochem, Micro, PSM, OBGYN. give 4 days each these are very important subjects for inict please be dead serious about them a small percentage loss in this will create a big percentage loss in final exams okay next comes anatomy and surgery which has about we can give about 12 days for combined because lot of topics are overlapping especially upper limb especially neuro and other aspects you can just study in integrated manner it will help you to learn better and retain better okay then comes uh, medicine physiology pathology and pharmacology you can give about 15 days of them learn them in the integrated fashion learn with system wise if preferably done because inct is going to ask a lot of integrated questions so be prepared for it okay as i said high yielding subjects for inict are biochemistry microbiology fmt psm obgy general surgery emergency and the short subjects like skin ortho anesthesia psyche and radio so because why short subject because they barely takes one or two days to revise in the last period and it will give you at least four five questions from each subjects like that okay so i would strong one strong pro tip that i would suggest is never a lot specific days for the subjects that you are so happy to be in okay like i was very happy with uh, derma pediatrics and uh, all the short subjects like ortho anesthesia psyche radio i never gave gave them any days okay whenever i feel low whenever i feel the day is not going good or i am not in a state to study it's okay 2 3 hours i will study one subject and uska aadha i used to do okay koi bhi aadha subject aadha part of that subject that i like i can go into that so that would be my happy zone so that helped me saved a lot of days and always when i am in morning starting i start with the hard subjects and whenever i am studying i always try to do the subjects which i don't like when i am done with the subject when i am having a bad day when the gt didn't well go that well and uh, maybe it's just not the day yaar at that time you feel so tired and you're burnt out you can just either rest or you can slightly go through the subjects that you really like it will help you save a ton of days and it will help to really optimize the number of days that you have from your hand okay 
and uh, you can give gts right now one to two per month and give tnd swts only if required when you can assess you after completing a subject if you feel that you are less confident or if you're not doing good you can test yourself or uh, when you are in doubt by giving a subject wise test or a tnd or a gt also it can help okay now let's just talk about the last three months okay so in the last three months, you have to take a complete deep dive into the revisions of whatever that you have done and mastering previous year questions. So from 16th of August to 31st of September, that is 45 days, third last revision will be doing. So in that you have to go through that refined fine notes that you have made. Okay. And you have to keep refining more because you have to cover the same notes in half of the time in the second last revision. Okay. 25 din mein ye same subject karna hai. So please make sure while is se jab kar rahe hai hum, to isko bookmark kar rahe hai, ya table mein dal rahe hai, ke ye next reading mein padna hai. Taki hum aadha hai subject hi padna, abu subject ka jo bhi defined notes aaye, uske aadhe notes hi padna hai humko in the second last revision. Okay. We won't have to, we won't be having time to go through the entire thing and you will miss out on days. Please be careful about this. Okay. So I'll previously question once. And few bookmark other questions that you would have and unko salta do abhi, just finish them off right now and you can give GT 1 in 15 days roughly. From 1st to 25th of October, that is the 25 days ka second last revision, you have to keep refining the days, uh, the notes into the last 10 days ka revision that we'll be doing. Now the exams are coming up and things are starting to get heated up. Okay, now we mean strict business and we are going to do the one thorough last revision because in the last 10 days we won't be doing all we'll be doing only the bookmark things okay and uh, you can give uh, just this will be the time you'll be giving the grand test in this time you can give two to three grand tests just to assess after this in the last 10 days i would strongly not recommend going through grand test instead of grand test in that three hours you can go through like 200 300 previous questions that is going to give you much more yield rather than a grand test and uh, so definitely whatever that you want to assess right now just assess mainly focus on time management because concept testing we have done long back in the last from six months we are doing that same right so from 26th of october till 4th of november that is the last 10 days do the one last revision and the bookmark pyqs only and please and please and please don't give gts at now because many people do that i suggest i really felt that i did for both of my exams don't give gts right now just do pysa questions save time you have very less time okay start with the subjects always with the which are very heavily asked and weak and just you know, so a weak subject will keep changing you understand because we are working on a weak subjects in the last six months so dhere dhere hum jab aage aate rahenge to weak subjects badalte rahenge so always keep rearranging the orders of the subjects and jo bhi weak hai usko karte raho so aise jo mix ho raha hai na apna bar bar so trust me all the subjects will come into alignment after all this thing every subject will come into alignment of about 85 to 90 percent correct and trust me if you perform 85 to 90 percent correct in all the subjects you are in top 100 i can give you in writing okay so just try to keep mixing those subjects retrograde aage piche left right jo niche ke unko hamesha beech mein laate raho jo niche bottom most three subjects hai unko beech mein laate raho and yehi karte jao slowly every subject will come into the middle order everything will be above 85% and you will be reaching that great GT review where if you will be uh, almost equivalent to the top 100 ranks. Okay. Do follow the last exam week strategy. I'll be making a separate video on that. How to optimize the last week so that you are into that already the uh, vision of you are already in that situation of exams and you are giving your best. Okay. You're optimizing your body from the last one week to outshine and outsmart everyone around and uh, trust me in the last one week everybody will fall out 50 percent of the people ahead of you will suffer a lot of anxiety a lot of uh, uncertainty this time you don't have to lose your calm you have to stay calm how to practice to stay calm how to keep longer attention span how to perform best in your exam i'll be making a separate video okay after this trust me you will come out as champion if you just follow this okay there will be few things that uh, i think you will be guided better from here and there but trust me this is like 90 percent of your preparation just stick to it i am saying just stick to it it will help you immensely immensely okay i'll be putting links into the description below uh, about few concise uh, resources and previous year list topic that i have that is there in the group uh, Please go through them. Keep them as your uh, guide. I would always say that. And I have made a separate playlist for 
cracking November INICET, uh, which has a lot of elements which are crucial in preparing um, each step, like how to handle question bank, how to handle timetable. If you started a little late, if you watch this video a little late, how to modify this to create your own timetable to optimize your preparation, how to handle revision videos and um, all the elements that is there around the revision videos and notes and uh, how to ace your GTs and how to evaluate your GTs. Everything I have made a separate playlist. If you feel stuck, if you feel misguided, if you feel that you don't know what to do now, you can safely go into that playlist. Most of your questions will be answered there. I have put my 110% into making that playlist. Please trust me, it's going to help you a lot. As uh, I like to say always, Please stay uh, in a positive mindset, have a good peer around, have winner's mindset people around. It will help you uh, to stay into that momentum and you should also help them when they are down. It will barely take few minutes of yours, but it's going to make you and your peer in such a group, in such a good environment that you can always be at your optimum level. Okay, everybody needs little maintenance once in a while. Trust me, even an F1 car needs a maintenance between the cycles to maintain its performance to its peak. Just accept, avoid getting burnt out and give your best. Until then, stay calm and keep enjoying.